Steve. Hi, Kathy again. Well, <laughs> welcome to another Thirsty Blues. The reason I'm smiling about Kathy being here again is that she's been at my last two live gigs here at every live stream I think so I really appreciate it Kathy and Graham Wald and uh, Toby hello Toby taste a little warm-up um, so hello again lovely to have uh, have you here for my live stream hello to Mick hello to Hans hi to Steve Malcolm Adelaide uh, Chris two Chris's Chris Bongart and Chris Richardson hello Chris that's Christine Ruth and, and <laughs> nice to see Ruth and Brian again I saw them last night um, at my little gig in um, Leon C and uh, John Phil hi Phil and um, Dave, good to have you with us, Dave, and John Moretti. So it's the usual crowd. Hello to Jane and uh, Len Johnson. So um, I'm going to try and do... Good evening. I'm going to do mainly blues tonight. You'll say, what's the difference there? Um, but sometimes I, I veer into a lot, of, a lot of soul and sweet tunes. More blues, I think, tonight. Um, and uh, what are we going to do now? It's a Slim Harpo tune. Tell you about a dance that's going around. Everybody's doing it from a grown ups down. You don't move your hand, you don't move your head, you don't move your lips, you just shake your hips. Do the hip shake, baby. 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 Now ain't that easy? to me do what I say don't move your head don't move your hands don't move your lips you just shake your hips do the hip shake baby do the hip shake baby do the hip shake baby shake your hips 
well ain't that easy This girl in a country town She said, why do you know this slim harpo? She didn't move her head She didn't move her hands She didn't move her lips She just shook her hips Do the hip shake, baby Do the hip shake, baby do the hip shake, baby. Do the hip shake, baby. Well, shake your hips. Do the hip shake, baby. Do the hip shake, baby. Do the hip shake, baby. Well, take it easy. Shake, um, shake your hips. <laughs> okay, Slim Harpo. There are loads of people have done that, haven't they? Um, but uh, originally, of course, it was a great Slim Harpo. So, uh, again, good evening. Hi to Graham Ward. Art, who says he's posted it to his page. Thanks, Art. <laughs> what do you know? It's Slim Harpo, says Roy Weber. Hi, Roy. Um, yeah, I'm going to try a song I've never sung before. Um, so, uh, I'm going to put the, the words in front of me for this one. It's... Um, it's a song by Billy Vera, who, you know, I've got to say, I don't know a lot about Billy Vera, but as a, a performer, a songwriter, um, and he wrote this song with Lowell Fulsom. Uh, I've just got to remember what key I reckoned I was going to do this in. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Anyway, Room With A View, it's called. I've got, um, uh, that, 
Yeah, it's actually, I don't think I don't know if I've played Hip Shake before. I probably have, but I don't think I've done it on the live stream. Um, and this one I've, I've certainly not done before, which is called Room with a View. Okay, just psyching myself up for this. I got a room I got a room with a view I've got a room I got a room with a view House full of trouble. Ah, I got a room with a view of the blues. Okay. No pictures on my wall. Just a ceiling above my head. No rugs on my floor. And no pillow on my bed. I've got a room. I got a room with a view I got a house full of troubles Ha! And I got a room with a view of the blues On my TV, well, that's new. I got a room. I got a room with a view. I got a room. I got a room with a view. I got a house full of troubles And I got a room with a view of the blues Yeah, I got a room troubles and I got a room with a view of the blue
Okay. That was a thing called Room with a View. A lot of people recorded that actually. Johnny Adams is the, the version that I love. Um, yeah, if you if you don't if you don't know Johnny Adams, uh, check him out. Uh, great New Orleans singer. Uh, not with us anymore. Um, but Johnny Adams, yeah, he, he had such a wonderful voice. He could sing anything. Um, he did sing anything. Gospel, blues, country, soul. Lots of soul. Uh, anyway, there we are. I'll go. I'll get on to more familiar territory now. There's, sometimes, sometimes I I like to try doing um, Elmore James songs and the like uh, without the band. Much as I love playing with the band, uh, Roy was here earlier. He may still be with us. So, you know, it's great. It's great <laughs> playing with people like Roy Weber. Uh, but this is me trying to do Shaky Money Maker all by myself. Hello, Ted. Hello, Sharon. Hi to Rich. Hi to Nick Garner. She's gonna let me love her, but I don't believe she will. She got eyes like diamonds, she shine like Klondike gold. Eyes like diamonds, she shine like Klondike gold. Every time she loves me, you know it upsets my soul. Well, you're mighty beautiful, but you gotta die someday. Well, you're mighty beautiful, but you gotta die someday. Just give me some love and charm before you pass away. You gotta shake your money maker. Shake your money maker. Shake your money maker. Shake your money maker. Shake your money maker.
Shake your money maker. Shake your money maker. Um, yep, bit of um, no more James there. So sorry, I haven't been keen up with your your comments, but thanks. I do like you leaving them. I, I look at them afterwards if I can't as we're going along, and it all helps to create a lovely club atmosphere. Hi to Colin from the ranch in Yorkshire. Colin, is this uh, is this the sort of cowboy ranch you've got up in Yorkshire? And uh, I, don't, I don't know. Hi to Bunny Barnes out in the states. Um, Bunny Barnes is a, is a lovely finger style guitarist. Hi to Adelaide. <laughs> I don't know what Adelaide's talking about. Somebody doing a hand dance? Hand jive? Um, okay. I see Sharon. Sharon says uh, she's supposed to be resting. Whatever it is you're recovering from, Sharon, good luck with that. Oh dear, yeah, I had a spinal procedure. Okay. Well, I hope, uh, hope you're getting over that. Um, okay, I'd better carry on, hadn't I? Um, I did this song a while back, uh, and I thought I'd have another bash in. It's Think All For What It's Worth, which is a Buffalo Springfield song, but one of the reasons I love it is because the Staples did it, the Staples singers. So when you do a Staples singer, Staples number, you've got to <laughs> turn up the tremolo, as I have. play that bit to see if I remembered it and I didn't. Okay, I'll do it again. happening here what it is ain't exactly clear there's a man with a gun over there huh. telling me I've got to be well it's time to stop children what's that sound everybody look what's going down is wrong young people speak in their mind getting so much resistance from behind you better stop children what's that sound everybody look what's going the heat a thousand people out in the street singing songs 
and carrying signs mostly saying hooray for our side you better stop children what's that sound everybody look what's going down Paranoia strikes deep into your life. You know it will creep. It starts when you're always afraid. Step out of line and the man comes to take you away. You better stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Stop, children. What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Ah, uh, that's not called Stop Children, it's called uh, For What It's Worth, and it was written by um, Stephen Stills. Okay, so there we are, back to, um, we were going back to hippie days there, weren't we? Uh, Okay, I'll do a uh, similar similar period. Perhaps I'll, I'll do a song. Um, okay. Well, I hope you're all well. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I'm thinking. I'm trying to think who wrote and sang this song. It's terrible. But when I'm doing these live streams, I. I find my mind doesn't work properly. Uh, it's, it's, it's enough to, to play the guitar and sing, let alone speak coherently. Um, so I'm trying to remember, you'll, you'll all know as soon as I tell you, who wrote Darling Be Home Soon, the Loving Spoonful hit. Um, oh, come on, beautiful, beautiful singer, the, the, the lead singer with uh, Loving Spoonful. You know exactly who I'm talking about, don't you? You're just not telling me. Okay. Hi to Robert Marcello. So, um, yeah. John Sebastian, Toby, thank you. Obviously, John Sebastian. Yes, what, what, a, what a legend, John Sebastian. Now, John Sebastian, um, although, you know, he's best known for his uh, commercial stuff with Loving Spoonful, which was great, actually. Did some wonderful material. Summer in the city. Um, uh, what a day for a daydream. Um, but Loving Spoonful sort of started off, or maybe it was a group before Loving Spoonful, as, as, a, as a jug band. And a lot of the, the, a lot of those jug bands, they were, they were drawn on folk and blues, um, and sometimes jazzy stuff and ragtime. And that's the tradition that John Sebastian is in. And you can hear it in the way he composes songs and um, sometimes the way he sang. Not this one, though, which is, which is just a sweet ballad.
Talk of all the things we did today Yeah And laugh about our funny little ways While we have a few minutes to breathe And I know that it's time you must leave Oh my darling, be home soon it's not just these few hours, but I've been waiting since I taught them. Oh, my darling, be home soon. I couldn't bear to wait an extra moment if you dawdled. For the great relief of having you, having you to talk to. almost past and I feel I've come to know myself at last and I feel that the time spent confused it was the time that I spent without you and I feel myself in blue feel myself in blue my darling, be home soon. It's not just these few hours I've been waiting since I taught them. Oh, my darling, be home soon. I couldn't bear to wait an extra minute if you told them. For the great relief of having you Having you to talk to extra minute if you don't oh my darling be home soon it's not just these few hours but I've been waiting since I taught for the great relief of having you to talk to crazy head, beat your crazy head against the sky. Try, try to see beyond the houses in your eyes. Well, it's okay to shoot the moon. Oh, my darling, be home soon. I couldn't bear to wait an extra minute if you don't. Oh, 
my darling, be home soon It's not just these few hours But I've been waiting since I told them For the great relief of having you Having you to talk to There we are, darling, be home soon. And, um, yeah, I'm going to tune up. <laughs> so, thanks again for tuning in. Um, spe a big thanks to, to, to Kathy and Eddie and to... and to Ruth and Brian. Ruth and Brian, uh, who came to see Tim Huskisson and myself playing a gig last night. And uh, I've got to say, there weren't many of us there, so I'm so glad that you four were there. We weren't the only ones. Um, and um, it was a nice gig. We really enjoyed it, Tim and I, anyway, and the audience were lovely. Um, but it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit up and down these days. We, the last couple of gigs I've done there my monthly session at, at Lee Community Centre have been really well attended. Um, not so good last night, so there we are. And that's what I've found. It is a bit up, a bit up and down at the moment for live music. Or I'm not a big enough attraction, but there we are. But I do appreciate those who did come. And, um, yeah. And I'm mentioning those four because they're also watching the live stream tonight. So I promise you I won't do any songs that I did last night. Um, the next time I do that gig at the Lee Community Centre, for anyone who's watching this from the South End or Leon C area, the next time I do it is I think November the 3rd, Wednesday, November the 3rd, which is um, the first Wednesday of the month, always the first Wednesday of the month. The next time I do it, um, I'm doing it again with Tim Huskisson on piano, and he's a gl glorious pianist, and Connor Selby on guitar. And some of you will know of Connor Selby, or know Connor Selby maybe, um, he's a he's a, uh, a rising blues star, and it's great to to have him playing with us. So <laughs> let's hope we get a turn, this turnout for that one. Okay, that's enough about gigs. Um, I think I'll I'll do after um, Darling Be Home soon. I should I should do some old blues, shouldn't I? So here's some Robert Johnson, a bit of Robert Johnson. Don't know how I'm going to start this one. Chris, it would be lovely to see you, if you can make that gig. Quite a way for you, I think, though. rambling on my mind Little girl, little girl I got rambling on my mind I hate to leave you baby but you know you treat me so unkind I got mean things I got mean things on my mind Little girl, little girl I 
got mean things on my mind I hate to leave you baby but you know you treat me so unkind I'm going down to the station <laughs> catch me the first fast train I see I'm going down to the station catch me the first fast train I see I got the blues for my baby She sure got the blues for me on my mind little girl little girl I got mean things on my mind Amsterdam usually thought so hate to leave you baby but you treat me so unkind Yeah, oh, well, you're you're taking a break in uh, in Germany then, Helene. Um, so yeah, hi to uh, hi to Robert Mead, um, Steve Capes, and I'll say hi to Nick Capes. Oh, you you it's a family affair, is it tonight? Um, now it's nice playing for you, um, and I'm going to try. Uh, you're very kind. You you let me do all sorts of things. So I'm going to try another one that I haven't played before. And this is by the great Albert King. Uh, you're <clears throat> I think he calls it You're Gonna Need Me. Uh, I call it When the Train Leaves the Station, but anyway. Now, talking of Albert King, who was great, of course, great guitarist, great singer, um, and did some wonderful um, funky blues. Um, did anyone else notice? I mean, this is, I'm, I can't be the first person to have noticed this, but perhaps I, I've, I've not been aware of the fact that this is well known. But um, Otis Rush, in his later years, sounded more and more in his guitar playing like Albert King. Otis Rush's guitar, and I loved his early playing, actually, beautiful. Um, but I think his I think his, char, his style changed a bit, and perhaps he thought it was uh, that you know there was a toughness about Albert King that, that audiences loved. So if you listen to to later Otis Rush stuff, his guitar playing to my ears sounds very much like Albert King. And the reason I'm mentioning that is because this song "You're Gonna Need Me," Otis Rush does a song or did a song, I think "Right Place, 
wrong place, right time, right place, wrong time. It might be one of those. And um, it's exactly the same sequence. Little, the nice little twist that it has in the turnaround. So there we are. I'm not suggesting he copied it. He may have both um, just come up with it. However, uh, Albert King was so influential that uh, you know it's not surprising that you hear his stuff in other players. I can't play guitar like Albert King, by the way, so if you're expecting that, you're not going to get that. But you are going to get an Albert King song. You're going to need me. You told me that you love me Every word was true You're acting so funny lately I wonder what's wrong with you You're gonna leave me I'm gonna leave you And your crying won't make me stay The more you cry, the further I'm going away. Won't be no use calling me. I won't answer the phone. I'll just have someone to tell you that your sweet loving. That is gone. You're gonna need me. The day I say goodbye, <laughs> when the train leaves the station, you're gonna hang your head and cry. told me that you love me Every word was true You're acting so funny lately That I wonder, I wonder what's wrong with you I'm gonna leave you And your crime won't make me stay Well, the more you cry, the further you're gonna drive me away. Okay. Something like that, something like that. Uh, Okay. Right, so, yes. Uh, someone says they like uh, Dr. John's version. Oh, I haven't heard Dr. John's version of that. Or are you talking about Blue Bayou, perhaps? That... Um, Toby asked for, and I think Toby, you probably 
reckoned you probably knew I wouldn't be able to do Blue by You very well. Um, yep, hi to Dave, hi to John Sims, and um, Steve and Sharon. We've we've spoken to him. We've spoken to you. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm I'm rambling again. <laughs> I know I'll do um I'll do your I'll do a song a tune to dance to that's what you're waiting for isn't it just came into my mind I don't know if I've done this recently but I, I do love doing this rolling and tumbling the um the Elmore James way Well, I 
I woke up this morning well, I woke up this morning I didn't know right from wrong Okay, roll and tumble. It might be rolling and tumbling, who knows. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna change the guitar and um, do something different. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I'll change on to, that guitar, that guitar was tuned in open E. I always tell you late in the day, don't I, for those of you who want to know, that guitar was tuned in open E. This guitar is tuned in. Um... Oh, I realise you, you, you've, uh, you've been able to see all the boxes in my. Uh, we've been, we've been trying to sort out some stuff for the, uh, for the charity shops. That's, that's why we've got old cardboard boxes around our normally um, impeccably tidy room. Anyway, um, yeah, that was um, rolling and tumbling. And uh, I'm moving on to this guitar, which is, um, it's another Rialto. They're both Rialtos. And, um, and this one's in, in normal standard tuning, your regular tuning. Okay. Bit of um, John Lee Hooker. Slide, a slide on. All right.
I see you every day. I see you every day. I see you every day. You're my babe, I got my eyes on you. Dimples. Uh, <laughs> where do I go from here? Exactly like you. Um, yeah, this is an old show tune. Hi, Steve. I don't know Rambling Man by Hank Williams. I'm ever so sorry. I do let you people down, don't I? I, I don't. Uh, I don't obviously listen to the same records that you do. Hank Williams. I mean, I love Hank Williams, but I'm not. You know, I don't listen to a lot of country type stuff. Of course, Hank Williams did a lot of bluesy things as well, didn't he? But rambling, rambling man. I don't know. I'm afraid. So I said I was going to do, okay, bye Helene, I said I was going to do a um, an old show tune, Exactly Like You, which is one of those tunes from probably about 1930-ish, the 30s, and um, uh, that, that, that just went into the popular repertoire and all sorts of people have done it. So I you know, I know it by um, Aretha Franklin and um, Sam Cooke, among others, which in my view, you know... Um, Brings it into the soul repertoire. Now, what am I thinking? I, I can't remember how this goes. Exactly like you. Oh, I, I know. One scotch, one burden, one. Bit. Steve, Steve, you don't know me. I, I just, just the first of those three drinks, Scotch, bourbon, and a bit. Just the first, the first of them would render me incapable of playing. I'm afraid. So, it's a definite no to that. See, I haven't done this. I, I sometimes think I'll do a song and then I haven't sort of checked back on it. Right, bear with me. I'll do the middle eight. Someone exactly like you. Why should we spend money on a show or two? No one does those love scenes exactly like you. You make me feel so good. I want to tell the world. You make me understand every little 
dream I'm dreaming, every scheme I'm scheming now I know why mother wanted me to be true She wanted me for someone exactly like you You make me feel so grand, I wanna tell the world You make me understand Every little dream I'm dreaming, every scheme I'm scheming Now I know why mother told me to be true She was waiting for someone exactly like you There we are. Slightly rough version, I thought, of um, Exactly Like You. It put me in mind of another another show song, which would have been from about the 30s, that Bill Brunsey um, got sort of put into the blues repertoire. <laughs> See, again, I haven't prepared, prepared this. Right, OK. No excuse. You gotta give a little, you gotta take a little Let your poor heart break just a little That's the glory of, that's the story of love You gotta sigh a little, you gotta cry a little Let the world pass by just a little that's the glory of, that's the story of love. As long as there's the two of us, we've got the world and all its charm. When the world gets through with us, we've got each other's arms. You've got to sigh a little. Cry a little, let the world pass you by just a little. That's the story of, that's the glory of, that's the story of, that's the <laughs> Well, that isn't really like Bill Brunsey did it, is it? But that's a little bit of glory of love. I'm, you know what I'm going to do? Change this guitar and get into some um, uh, some raw old school blues. Well, what I'm going to do, I think, is play you some Fred McDowell. Let's be straightforward about it. Fred McDowell. Um, yeah. I'm on safer territory here, I think. I've been playing Fred McDowell's songs almost ever since I learned to... Play guitar and I've been playing slide ever since I learned guitar um, and this is a few short lines uh, hi John well don't get around much anymore I've um yeah I've changed the guitar so you, you, I can't do that on this guitar I'm afraid um, it's John Sims uh, sorry about that uh, I don't I, Sharon says do I ever play Hawaii music I don't but you know 
it's uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, Hawaiian music had a, had a big impact, a big um, a big influence on on slide playing. It's it's you know it's quite hard to pin it down. Where did it come from? Obviously, a lot of people say that um, uh, a lot of early blues, including slide playing, would come from Africa. Probably came from Africa, and that's that may well be true. I'm sure. Um, but um, but also you can't deny the uh, the influence of Hawaiian guitar, which was hugely popular, I think, in the what I don't know, nineteen twenties. Um, certainly, when when a lot of uh, Delta blues was being played. But no, I can't actually play Hawaiian guitar in answer to to that question. Now I'm going to do a bit of Fred Madell. I can make this guitar come out. So yeah, this is this is the this is the music that uh, I've been playing for most of my life, I think. Sit down and write me a few short lines When you get home now baby Sit down and write me a few short lines That will be consolation Honey to my worried mind Standing in her back door crying I left my baby Standing in her back door crying I never felt so sorry Had to tell my baby goodbye Troubles ever end.
going down the river I'm going to sit down on the ground I'm going down the river I'm going to sit down on the ground That the waves of water Honey, wash my troubles Honey, wash my troubles Honey, wash my troubles Wash my troubles, only wash my troubles down. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, a few short lines. Fred McDowell. And um, maybe I'll return to uh, John Lee Hooker. It's that sort of evening, isn't it? All the uh, the old raw blues. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm coming towards the end. And thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> Especially those of you who have been uh, watching these live streams for however long I've been doing it, which is quite a long time now. Um... So yeah, I appreciate it. It gives me a good old workout. Um, yeah, what did I say I was gonna do? Johnny Hooker, bit of Johnny Hooker, boogie, boogie chilling. Um, I do, I do all sorts of boogies. <laughs> I can't help it, just stupid things come out of my mouth when I'm doing these live streams. Anyway. Yeah, I do. I do boogies in different ways. <laughs> Always part of my repertoire. This is Boogie Chillin', which was BB um, King's, uh, not BB King, Johnny Hooker, Johnny Hooker's um, original first first major hit. Uh, so good that he did it quite a few times under different names. If someone would um, pay Johnny Hooker to go into a studio to cut a couple of records, uh, he'd do it. And if they said we really like that Boogie Chillum one, well, he'd do that again and perhaps change it slightly. Change the title, change the lyrics a bit. Yeah, so there was, uh, yeah, he was... Uh, Ah, he was he was the man, wasn't he, John Lilka? I mean, what wonderful stuff. So yeah, I try to um, I try to get in the right frame of mind for John Lilka stuff sometimes. So here we go. So from Fred McDowell to John Lilka, that's two greats, isn't it? My mama didn't allow me Just to fool around all night long Well, my mama didn't allow me Just to fool around all night long Well, mama didn't allow me I would boogie anyhow And I felt so good And I felt so good And I felt 
so good I want a boogie I want a boogie all night long Okay, so thank you very much for, for listening, you you lovely people. Um, yeah, you you really. Uh, well, it's a, it's it's lovely to have you all tuning in on Thursdays, and I know a lot of you listen to other live streams as well. It is somebody just commented. It is one of the nice things that have happened, come out of the, uh, the the tough times that we've had, that um, quite a few great musicians have uh, started doing live streams and, and quite a few not so great musicians <laughs> please I'm, I'm not putting myself in that first category um, but yeah it's been lovely to, to, to tune into live streams and I'm going to keep doing it while I've got a few listening obviously the numbers have dropped off a little bit what have we got now 35 well that's quite good um, but yeah 
A lot of you are very busy. A lot of people are too busy to watch live streams. But those of you who are tuned in, thank you very much. See you all again next week. I'll do a quick snatch of Love in Vain. I, I may do this. I may do this as an instrumental. I don't know. Just just a couple of minutes of um, something like Love in Vain, another Robert Johnson classic. Followed her to the station, her suitcase in my hand. I followed her to the station with a suitcase in my hand. So hard to tell, so hard. To tell when all your love's in vain, all my love's in vain. Train pull into the station, I looked her in the eye. Train pull into the station. I looked her in the eye. I felt so lonesome, felt so lonesome. All I could do was cry. All my love's in vain. You hear me, Betty Mae? Can't you hear me, Betty Mae? So hard to tell, so hard to tell When all your love's in vain all my love's in vain Thank you very much. Thanks and good night.